Oh, there it goes. Nice. Good timing. Da -do. There's Tom Nook, you greedy little raccoon. Thank you. Uh, begins departures. A movie? Deep dive into deserted island life. There's so much we want to share, we have to divide it into three separate parts. Oh, interesting. It's a refresh of our getaway package, a reminder of what we've shared so far. Hopefully that won't take too long. Part 2 will cover future development plans, and in Part 3 we'll answer some frequently asked questions. Ooh, interesting. So, oh, it, um, it kind of puts me a slight pause. I mean, hopefully the game has come, like, unprepared, or, you know... I'll just uh, watch to see what happens. One trip that we here at Nook Inc. can recommend with confidence. Your destination is a peaceful island where it's the little things that count. That guy is murdering that tree. Like mingling with neighbors. I mean, say what you will about Animal Crossing, but the art style is so on point. The characters, the scenery, this is even the water is so sparkly and so nice. Oh man. Deep dive into deserted island life. Upon arrival at the local airport, you'll be met with a deserted island positively teeming with nature's bounty. When applying for the getaway package, you can choose the island you wish to move to from a wide oh. range of options. Okay. Would you like to live in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere? Okay. Don't worry. No matter which you choose, you'll experience all that the four seasons have to offer. Right cool. I mean, they, they said they were going to do this, but I see confirmation. Your departure date is scheduled for March 20th. That's when the Northern Hemisphere will just be warming up for spring. You won't have to wait long for the cherry blossoms to be in full bloom. Nice. <laughs> Cicadas. Look at the detail on that bug. Of course, snow. And the night sky above is Aurora Borealis. This time of year. As you can see, when the seasons change, the activities available to you change along with them. But the simple joys of nature are just one reason that the island is such a great setting for your new life. New resident orientation. After your arrival, you and your fellow residents will receive an orientation session from the Nooking staff. Okay. The music is really good. I love this music here. You can chat with other residents about where you want to set up your new home base. And there's. If they're not sure where to move, please help them find the perfect place for their new lives as well. Hopefully, you'll agree that cooperation between residents can be pretty fun. Tour of facilities. Island, you're still getting a package deal. On the island, we've included two facilities to make your life there more comfortable. Visit this tent in the plaza to access Residence Services, which is here to support all of your daily needs. It's open 24 hours a day, providing residents with services such as the sale of everyday goods. <laughs> That's cool. Unwanted items. If I remember correctly, you couldn't sell and helpful advice about living on a 24 hours. It's very limited, the selling of your items workshops, you off the top of my head. I could be absolutely wrong. Items. First, just learn the DIY recipe. 
A little Minecrafty here. And there you have it. It's ready. Hopefully they have like a good notebook or whatever. Yeah. Oh, cool. Ooh. Uh, I thought it was going to be like NES Steam, like custom designs. I mean, you can't do it, potentially. Oh, that's cute. Pizza! Pizza! Oh my god, okay. <laughs> land on the island it's also available for use year-round 24 hours a day beginning the day after your arrival dodo airlines you can use the internet or local wireless to invite residents of other islands to yours i have my corn is here to play and you can also travel to and visit other islands yourself in this way, up to eight people, including you, can be on a given island at one time. Feel Selfies, nice. Group together and make some memories. The airport is good for more than trips through the sky. It also offers an in-game postal service, allowing you to send messages. Feel free to use the service to interact with other residents. In-game residents, but can you do it with online friends? I maybe you said it back. So remote, don't recall. On a deserted island, no less. Don't worry. Here are three big ways we plan to support you in acquainting yourself with your new surroundings. You're starting a new life, so in addition to your tent, Nook Inc. will provide some basic necessities as well as services. No need. To <laughs> Take your radio and your lantern. Your specially built Nook phone. It has the standard apps like a camera and map, but over time, we will provide new applications. Thirteen hundred dollars for a deserted island needs. Very powerful smartphone, flagship, as they say. At the start of each day, our CEO, Mr. Nook, will make an island-wide broadcast to all residents, complete with a greeting. The latest on important island events, deserted island life advice, and more. Nook Inc. Special Services 3. Since this is likely your first time on a deserted island. We're offering guidance and inspiration through the Nook Mileage Program. They're great for when you're looking to participate in some activities and you're in need of some recommendations. experiences you'll build up miles like so the miles you save up can be used to pay off the cost of the getaway package and they can eventually be exchanged for in-game rewards at the nook stop terminal in residence services what kind of rewards are we talking about rewards range oh, from okay. in-game nook ink merchandise to helpful items that can enrich <coughs> your time on the island To get the most out of every day, try collecting miles using the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Inc. is here for you, but remember, the island is very much deserted. And so, we'd like to take this opportunity <coughs> to the possible hitches you might encounter and their solutions. This is one nature-rich island. Dangerous creatures? That you could encounter dangerous oh, like bees. Or scorpions? Oh, scorpions? I don't, was there scorpions in the international game? You may end up somewhat irritated. I know there are bees. I don't recall scorpions in New Leaf. Should you come across one you don't think you can catch, try not to push your luck and consider retreat. Symptoms can be cured with medicine available at residence services. 
and we recommend keeping some on you, just in case. Nighttime on the island can get a little dark. You're on your own, and you never know what creatures might be lurking out there. Please be careful when taking a late night stroll. A boo? What? A little adventure. So oh, it's a wisp. Think about it. This is actually a plus. Your deserted island is surrounded by the sea, which means you may come across a castaway. Oh, castaway? Was this Link's awakening? He was simple. First, give them a holler to make sure they're doing okay. Then keep them company until they wake up. Please offer all the five more minutes. They're relying on you to make it home. <laughs> Although your Nook phone has a map application, it's theoretically possible you could get lost or find yourself unable to move forward. Is there fast travel? It's best not to panic. Instead, simply use the rescue service. Rescue service? You'll be transported somewhere cozier in no time. Rain what? Power Rangers? What? Given the services we've introduced so far, there should be plenty to enjoy on the island already. But if you want your in-game life to be even more comfortable, we will offer a number of optional extras. Optional extras. Does the environment seem a bit rough? Do you need a little more space for all your stuff? If you said yes to either of these questions, then we have an option for you. Building a house. The loan has no deadline, no interest, and no assessment. And there's no need to worry about applying for one. You can pay it back at your own pace. A house offers so much more space than the tent you'll start with. And also has its own storage spaces capable of holding any So you could potentially play the game without even like investing in the house. You could play with the tent. Or stay in the tent. You get to be your very own interior designer, setting up the walls and flooring however you like. Really get the most out of living there. We've made it easy for you to change patterns at any time. As you can see here, we do some of the heavy. Oh, cool. All right. You up to focus on I'm pretty sure, like, the editing stuff is like. Oh, okay. That's cool. I know they really went in, in detail with the editing stuff of your home, like in Happy Home Desire, if I recall. If you own a house, we can also I never played that game. So I'm not sure. Oh, okay. That's okay. Whatever your situation, we have appropriate plans available. So please don't hesitate to ask us about them. Your Nook Miles can be exchanged for in game rewards, including Nook Miles tickets. These can be used to travel to distant islands. The destination of these tours differs each time. Dal? Like Dallas? <laughs> Delta Ask. So oh. These far off destinations are small deserted islands full of trees and flowers. Of course, you can take many items back home with you, whether it's DIY materials or creatures. It's a nice change of atmosphere, and you may experience some unexpected encounters. Margie! We're certain these tours will prove to be one of our most popular services, leading to many repeat customers. Oh, spy- Oh, hello! With our package plan, up to eight people can live on one island. One optional extra provided only to those islands with multiple residents is called Party Play. With this way to play, you can call up other residents who live on the same island as you, allowing up to four residents to enjoy exploring the island together at the same time. Whoever calls the others is the leader, making the others the followers. They can follow the leader around. That way, everyone can spend time together. As you can see, it's easy to change out the assigned leader. That way, followers 
kids can quickly take turns doing what they want to do, even if it's just a little shopping. Any creatures or other items found by followers will be stored in a recycle box at the Residence Services Building. Please make sure to stop by and pick them up later. A lot of optional extras. Oh. Oh, oh dear, this thing. Oh. The Nintendo Switch online app. Oh. And then download them via Nook Link. Hmm, okay. <laughs> when connected online, you can talk with owners of Animal Crossing New Horizons and the Nintendo Switch online smartphone. Okay, there's communication, but. Is a keyboard or for voice chat. Uh, my voice chat, okay, but hey, Nook Discord's a thing. I'm not going to use that app, most likely, but who knows? We'll see. Now that you've seen part one, are you interested in relocating to one of our deserted islands? There's three parts in total, I believe. Alright. Like DLC and such? With the getaway package, you'll really get that deserted island bang for your buck. Especially with only a couple of neighbors for company at the start. But our hope is to eventually invite more residents and develop the island into a bustling community. The this 10 reason, getaway package. Invite more animal residents to come live here. That said, we don't want you to feel like we're inviting others into your space carelessly. As such, we've secured this land in advance. And in some cases, you may be able to invite some residents yourself. But we won't stop there. We're also planning to build additional facilities on the island. Hey, okay. Examples include a museum showing oh. a rich ecosystem on the island. Nice. Full of ready-made furniture and goods you can't craft yourself. Able sisters, cool. I mean, we got confirmation of that yesterday, I believe, but still, it's cool to see. Sophisticated culture. I'm from a different culture. I'm a different man. I'm a different everything. <laughs> TikTok memes. The Resident Services Center is only a simple tent now, but we plan to eventually expand this tent into a proper building. We will also continue to Everyone's like, "Where's Isabel? Give me Isabel." <laughs> we can and will offer to expand or remodel your house while providing moving services. Oh, that that one looks creepy. <laughs> I don't know if it's the hair or the eyes. Oh, oh, okay, of course, there she is. She, what, she got uh, alcohol? We'll lean on staff experienced in providing operational support. That way, we can offer the utmost in services and advice regarding the overall environment of your island. We're hoping to accept not only new residents, but also any guests who are tentatively paying a visit to the island. First of all, tourists are always welcome. In Look at this hippie. Changes, we can show visitors what makes our island so special. Celeste. While simultaneously learning about customs we aren't familiar with. Not sure about the char that character, but I love the game, Celeste. Oh, kimono. Oh, kicks. Nice. 
Eventually, we will host a variety Where's my boy KK Slider, though? Such as fishing tourneys and bug offs at the plaza in front of resident <laughs> services. Through free updates, we plan to introduce special events with seasonal guests and more. Okay, seasonal guests, cool. Continue to enjoy our services. We're sure you'll agree that starting over on a deserted island is already an attractive proposition. But here at Nook Inc., we really want our residents to create a one of a kind island that they're proud to call their home. Oh, ladders. That's great. And realize your creative vision, we're able to offer you a range of additional services. These include ways to help you and your fellow residents get from point A to point B. By building bridges and slopes, you'll be able to comfortably walk around the island without relying on handmade tools like vaults <coughs> and ladders. And once the island is fully decked out, we will provide you with a permit. can use it to freely pave your own paths. In addition, we can also provide you with a permit that allows you to undergo major construction on the terrain itself. Hmm, okay. And clips. Nice, awesome. your very own infrastructure maintenance and construction permits you can flex your creative muscle across the island make the most of them to make your island your dream home very cool i think this thing only has like 25 minutes i have like three minutes or so left it's a general time i still have one more point to go if i remember correctly Choice is yours. Pretty. What kind of life do you want to live? Ah. The deserted island getaway package presented by Nook Inc. Your departure is on track for March twentieth of twenty twenty. Fish. Look forward to meeting you all on the island. Yeah, pretty sure, yeah. A fact segment for part three? Okay. Can I play the game together with my family on a single Nintendo Switch system? With one Nintendo Switch system in the game, up to eight people in your family can live on one shared island. The maximum number of residents for an island is eight. Each user can register one resident. And each resident can, of course, build their own house. Does the game support Amiibo? Yes, the game supports Amiibo figures and Amiibo cards from the Animal Crossing series. You can also invite these familiar faces to Photopia. An island that exists someplace out there where you can place models and create a photo shoots. We plan to support additional characters in the future. Do you have any more information about visiting friends? While visiting other islands online, you can communicate with friends or player 
users not registered as friends using temporary passwords. These features can be restricted via parental controls. Okay, so you don't want like random people just coming up and messing up your island. Axes and shovels are forbidden in visits with friends. However, friends who are registered as best friends can use these tools. It's no problem. Please use this feature when interacting with your closest friends. What if I lose my save data? Yes, what if I do lose my save data? Animal Crossing New Horizons does not support the save data cloud feature. However, we're planning to offer a service for recovering backed up save data from the server in certain circumstances, such as console damage or loss. Sometime after launch. Special theme system to go along with the game? Yes, of course. We we a seen this. They should really just implement cloud saving feature. I don't know why they're like so begrudging about that. A separate match and carrying case will be available mm. the same day. I don't know about that one, Chief. I mean, the, the the Switch theme. I mean, Animal Crossing Switch theme. I mean, that's that's awesome. But I don't know, cloud saving. They should really implement that. After the game launches, and we'll continue to provide free seasonal events throughout the year. The first free update will be on launch day, March 20th. By installing this update, you can celebrate Bunny Day with a special <laughs> Bunny event Day. Also, we're planning to roll out a special offer for both Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and Animal Crossing New Horizons, through which players can receive special items in each. I really did not like enjoy that as I, as much as I thought I would. As, as far as Pocket Cam goes, wasn't really my thing. It's been over 25 minutes. Oh, once again, thank you so much for attending our information session. Which one final tip after this presentation? Oh, the official Animal Crossing Twitter account. Okay. Oh, Isabel. Oh, okay. She's waving at you. Okay, cool. Available March twentieth, twenty twenty. Package version slash digital version. Okay, I think that's it. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. Let's go over the points as I mentioned before. Uh, better online implementation, better communication between online players. It seemed like overall the same, except there's the phone app where you just text on the phone there. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it looks like pretty much the same as the prior games. But like, you know, with the um, addition of the phone app, which I'm probably not going to be, I'm not going to want to use anyway. Unless it's better, it's a better implementation than I thought it would be. I, I'll give it a shot, but yeah, a uh, good amount of activity, mini games to play with said online friends. I really did dwell into the into this, but maybe that's something that they'll save like once the game comes out and you'll discover it on your own. So that's one thing that they didn't really discuss, but potentially maybe in the game. A uh, great looking hub slash activity area to meet up with, connect with random slash friends. So. It looks like, I mean, there could be a hub area for all I know, but they didn't really discuss that, and really like emphasize on like a meet, you know, your island is like it could be like with your friends or your family. Um, that could be cool, um, but I don't know. It's something that uh have to look and see once the game comes out and see how that works. Season slash holidays, yes, they discussed that. They're gonna, you know, do updates for different seasons and holidays. Um, as far as I'm aware. That is that is certain. A much better inventory system doesn't feel like a chore to go through. Unfortunately, I think this is like one uh one thing that I'm kind of slightly disappointed in. It seems like well, yeah, it seems like kind of like New Leaf as far as like the way the inventory system works. I could be mistaken on that though, but it, to me it looked the same. Um, and hopefully, 
once I play it, it's like it feels different and maybe better. But as of right now, this is kind of like a slight disappointment in this regard. Uh, how exactly big can an island? I mean, we saw how bi- we saw like pictures of an island, but they didn't really like express how big an island can be. I mean, up to eight people can live in there, so we're assuming it's probably a decent size. But I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, if I had to guess, like I would hope maybe like bigger in comparison to uh, an area in New Leaf, but we we don't know. We don't know how sh- how big it can be. Not I, not that I'm expecting like you know it's vast. It's like Breath of the Wild big. This guy got high on a switch. Oh dear. Okay, <laughs> that was weird. Um, if limited, you can choose how big the island can be with starting a new file. You can choose like a, like a type of like 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 the foundation basically, but I don't you can't really choose the size as far as I'm aware. Um, how will saves and transfers be handled? They say they will discuss. I mean, they will they will. Um, release something like little after the game as far as a due to certain circumstances whatever that means like system damage and such and such but i really just wish they just allow cloud features like cloud saving features like you know i don't know they should really just like yeah implement that i i could just see a scenario where like you know someone really well you know Really wants to transfer their stuff and just, you know, but they get screwed for whatever reason. And unfortunately, there was no tease for Next General Direct, which I was not expecting. This was very, very hopeful on my part. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be bitter or mad about it, but, you know, it was just a, it's just a it's like wish, like wish, but it's okay. It's no problem. Um, I'm sure one's going to be announced here either next week or the following week, early March. Um, there was a rumor that there might be two in in February. You know, this being the Animal Crossing being the one, and General Direct, Direct being the other. But I wouldn't be surprised if they pushed that back to like early March at this point. Um, but yeah, that seems to be it. Um, not the most exciting direct, but hey, cool little features here and there that they uh highlighted and such and such. I really like the uh, customization of the stuff that you can do, like as far as like your landscapes go. I looked really cool and really like. I, I like the click and drag of like items you could do inside the house and just drag them throughout the walls and such. That was really cool. Like I said, it could have been a thing that was in uh, Happy Home Designer, but I didn't play Happy Home Designer. Could have been carried over from there. I I had to do. I could have done my research, but I just didn't do it. Um, but yeah. With that being said, um. I guess I will go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you for whoever watched. And, um, you know, looking forward to the game coming out, trying on my own. Um, and, yeah, uh, that'll be it. Uh, thank you very much for watching a- again. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Hopefully when the next direct comes, or I'm probably going to be starting a, a Plague's Tale Innocence again here soon. Sorry to get sorry I haven't like kept up with that. I've just been busy, but I will be getting back to that soon. So with that being said, take care.